Alright. Yeah. Get this. Just getting familiar. Whoa, this one just wants to pull. Feels comfortable, man. This is weird. Okay, so I am not doing a test ride, but a rental ride, so I guess it is kind of a test ride, of a 2014 Harley-Davidson Street Glide. It's got the high output 103 engine, very comfortable. Get your motor running. This is nice. Gotta get it. There we go. Feels good. It, it really is. It's comfortable. It's got a nice little rumble to it. As soon as you, as soon as you put the uh, gas on, though. It uh, smooths really out. The clutch is a little strong, but how does that feel? Uh, what? It's yep. Oh, it is. Oh, man. No, that's not even the blinker. That's the uh, hazard lights. Oh. Okay, hazard lights, start, regular beams, oh no, those are high beams. Is that flash to pass? It's weird putting my feet up in front of me. And I don't know that I'm going to use the heel shifter just because I'm not comfortable with it. Driving around the parking lot, it's really stable. Love this black street glide. Oh yeah, I mean, just leaving it in first feels good. It's clearly more power than my little XT350. It's taking some work to get used to putting my feet in front of me. That's all right. We good? I'll follow you. After you? All right. Yep, all right. Oh, man. Whoa. Got a nice little bit of vibration. I don't even, oh, I'm in third gear. Nice, it's got a gear gauge. Okay, so a little bit of buffeting. It's not bad. This is so nice. Ooh, the engine braking is nice. I do like the, the where the clutch engagement sits. That's actually really comfortable. I'm not used to these mirrors. They're actually really good. Oh my goodness. I could be a cruiser guy. I could be a Harley guy. Gotta keep my distance just because I'm not super comfortable on it and still trying to figure out. I mean, I'm comfortable, but not used to it. <laughs> that was fun. Counter steers beautifully though. 
I'm liking this a lot. Dual sport is a, a fun way to go. But man, this is far, this is more enjoyable for me. I'm going to be a cruiser guy. Tell you right now. I would be fun having a dirt only bike for the trail riding with the quads when we go with my family. Just trailering it out and then having a cruiser. Oh, this is great. And those mirrors are so smooth. I'm doing 45. There's no rush. Pretty. The seat is nice. Like it cradles my butt perfectly. I was a little concerned that I might be overwhelmed by the torque, but I'm really not. This is perfect. This is a beautiful day to ride. And this thing is so steady. Oh my goodness. I got to get used to the buttons, but as far as riding this, it's very natural. My arms are comfortable. They feel like they are where they should be. My feet are in a comfortable position. Not too far forward. The the floorboards are actually really nice. I can I can move them around if I need to adjust them. My father-in-law up ahead, he's, he's got a uh, Road Glide, 2015 Road Glide. And my, my father is behind me. He's got a uh, either 2014 or 2015 Softail Classic. Really, really pretty bike. It's actually a lot, lot prettier than I would have thought in, than in the pictures. Now what I need to do is try some Japanese cruisers to compare them because the only Japanese cruiser I've ever ridden was in my MSF course, a little Kawasaki 125, Kawasaki Eliminator 125, and that was that was fun. I was actually though a little bit uncomfortable, especially with the wrist placement. This is a lot more friendly. This is a, this is a little bit more like riding my bike in terms of hand placement, which I really like. A little bit in, but not bad. It's it's not like crazy. And I'm loving this way more than the Sportster. And I had a blast on that 883, but he wants to shift to third about 40 miles an hour, and he's slower than that. And then you kind of want to be in second. Sitting at 45 is comfortable at third gear. 45 on my bike, I'd be in at least fifth, <laughs> if not sixth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right about now it wants to be shifted into fourth. But it's good up to 50 and third. So here is my review of the Harley Davidson Street Glide. I freaking love this thing. Oh my goodness, this is such a cool bike. And I want one. 